Okay, so I've just sheared off some strips of sheet metal here, and we're going to head over to the brake and bend them at about a 90 degree angle so we can create a seat that'll sit into this area here. And we'll put a, probably put a few tacks around the perimeter just to hold it in place for now. And then once we get that piece in place, we'll start on this door jam here and extend this flange out to the outer skin so we have something for the skin to attach to. Um, right now it's kind of floating as well, so it'll also solidify the door jam in a more permanent manner. So I want a relatively sharp crease. So I'm going to make sure that my fence is out to the front here. And uh, we'll just get this installed and bend the pieces up. almost 90 degrees. Okay. That's perfect. So we have a nice soft radius in here for the rubber seal to sit on. And uh, yeah, let me get the other side bent up. lined up properly here. Good. Okay. Alright guys, so I've got these pieces bent up and I'm going to head over to the kick shrinker and start shrinking these uh, three quarter inch flanges to conform to the window open that we have over there. So it's going to take me a few minutes to get that done and I'm not going to show how we shrink all this. You've seen that so many times before. So I'll basically bring you in once we have those pieces uh, formed up and we're ready to install them. Okay, so after a few minutes in the shrinker, we've got two pieces made up, one for each side. And I'm just fitting it into place for the final time here. I had to take a little piece out of the front corner just to have this piece come out and become flush with the outside of the rod here. So that's sitting pretty good there. Now I have to fish it down inside the A-post pillar of the... Uh, front here, just like that. Get a clamp on there. Yeah, it's fitting up pretty good there, actually really well here. So I'm going to put one more clamp up here. And I need one more clamp for the back. I just want this piece of uh, sheet metal to be flush with just the outside of the rod. I don't want it sticking out too far. There we go. Actually, I can probably clamp it up here. There, that actually sits more naturally. So I don't want to torque the wire frame up with the piece we created. I want the wire frame to tell me where this piece needs to go. So this is looking really good here. That'll get tied into this eight post pillar. In this area here, I'm not sure what's going to happen in terms of structure at the moment. I need to get the glass back in place or the template back in place, put it up into where the window is going to be eventually. And then at that point, I can tell where I can add the structure to reinforce this flange as well as where we can bend this quarter panel structure and tie all this in together. Now, in regards to this area here, I'm going to get some pressed paper and we'll make a, a template up of this flange to basically extend out from this surface out to the outside skin from the top of this flat bar to the window line here and uh, we'll try and fill all this in in one shot and we may have to I'm pretty sure we'll have to cut a groove here because the glass slides up through this area here but uh, once I get the piece in place I'll know more and the other thing is once we get the Lexan template in place we'll know exactly where all this gets tied in up here Okay, that's pretty close there. We can work with that. Let's put a clamp here. Just like that. Now, let's 
grab the outside skin. Now, although I'm scribing it against this cut line here, I'm going to move in the half inch we need extra so we can tie it into this flange. This template's done, but I'm a bit short, about an inch and a quarter short at the top here. So we'll cut away most of what we don't need, I'll refit the template, and then we'll add a piece at the top. And well, good thing it's a template and not the actual piece. Now I'm gonna add my half an inch to the outside of this line here, so that we can tie it into that post over there. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get a little piece, staple it onto the top here, fill that in, and then we'll go over onto the, some sheet metal and make two pieces, one for this side, one for the other side. And speaking about the other side, this is the other windshield or should I say window perimeter piece that we made up. And I should have laid them back to back to show you guys that they are identical, but they are identical. So what works on one side, it will work on the other side. Just gonna bring that up to there, that's a nice height. Get that scribed. Put that in place. Get some staples into it. Get you guys in for a closer look on this side. Show you what it looks like. Okay, let's go for a little walk around the car here. Show you the door jam from this side. So we've got the template in place. It all fits really well up and through here, all the way down to the bottom. And in terms of the uh, seal, the door seal area here, that's all intact over here. And this piece that we just created is gonna sit right on the other side of this flange that's behind there. So we have enough room to tie everything in. This is going to turn 90 degrees here on those red lines and it'll get welded to that structural member right there. And then we might have to create a slot in here for the glass to come up through. All right, guys, let's go make this piece. Actually make two of them. Okay, let's get this piece installed. Let's see. Gonna wiggle it in. Okay, so now let's get a few squeeze clamps on this. Get some vice grips on it as well. But I just want to clamp it to the wire frame, just like that. See, all that's it's gonna come up a little bit. We have a hole here. Now we're gonna have the flange of the skin rolling over that. So if we do have a small hole at the moment, it will get covered up later. But we can come up a little bit there. We want this to fit as accurately as possible. Once you get everything clamped and everything sitting correctly, we'll throw a few screws into all this. And the reason I'm overlapping this jam here is to create more strength within the within the post. Okay, I'm just noticing here, I want to do a little massaging with this metal here and kind of bring the two surfaces together a little bit better. There's a bit of a gap up at the top here. Let's get some screws into this. I'm pretty happy as to where this is going to be sitting. That's looking good there. And then once I have this screwed in place, we can go and massage this, get that sitting in properly, and then we can put a couple clamps or screws into this area here. Ah, 
guys see. So we have a little weld on the back side of this that's interfering with this coming in here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, see, tricky to get into here now, now that all the parts have been installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have enough overlap. I have about three quarters of an inch here. I'm going to take this piece back out, trim this a little bit higher just to get above this weld here, and everything should be good. Still have to massage that, but it's sitting a lot better than it was. So we get a screw up into here. Okay, all this is looking really good. Everything's tied in to this new piece that we put in. I'm going to take and remove this little corner here, and we'll fabricate a whole new piece that'll go into the bottom here. Uh, here at the top, uh, the same thing. This has to come out a little bit more, so we'll get that moved over. And you may have noticed that there is some movement in this pillar area here. Uh, to get this sheet in place, I had to cut the tack that held the X brace in place. So now that, that sheet's in place, I'm happy with where it is. I'll take put that rod back in, weld it back in place, and then we can go ahead and finish the back side of this post. There's a structural post that goes in behind this cosmetic jam piece here, and that's what's going to solidify this whole corner. So when you slam the door on the car, nothing's going to move. It's going to be solid. There will be a whole separate structure that we have to create for the inside of the roof. But as for these areas here, all these flanges, we're well on our way with that. All right, guys. Well, thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. And for you guys who are watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because it helped grow our channel. And we're really thankful for everybody who's joined us along the way. Until next Friday, guys, take care.